is the Off the Beaten Path Podcast with me, Ben Merritt. And you won't be hearing any of that here. Nobody tells the sun when the rises shine. Nobody tells that cocky rooster when the crow. Why do people gotta tell me who I gotta be when I'm doing just fine? Well, what the hell do they know? Cause I know that I'm right on time. Yes, I'm right. Say never, but it's a pretty good chance one day I'm gonna die. So when I fly up to that sweet heaven, I wanna hear no sad goodbye. Podcast with me, Ben Merritt. There you go. That's the latest from Matt Stillwell, and that's right on time. Sorry, 
Uh, Matt's actually got a new album out right now. It's called Right on Time. Again, 12 tracks. It's great stuff, by the way. Ignition, which is the song that most people would know from Matt Stillwell, is on that one as well. So, But other great tunes like I'm a Sinner, Cold Beer, and Right on Time as well. Hey, it's Ben Merritt. Thanks for hanging out here on Off the Beaten Path podcast with, uh, well, with me. <laughs> uh, today, this episode starts a three-week journey for the Bands on the Run tour. And uh, it's kind of interesting because the, it, it just fell into my lap. Um, and all three of the bands that are on the run wanted to talk to me. So this week we'll chat with the Road Hammers. Uh, we'll also chat with Blackjack Billy next week. And then we got Doc Walker, obviously, three weeks from now. So, But all three of these bands, amazing, amazing musicians running through Canada. So they uh, they had to give me a holler, apparently, because I'm like the unofficial official voice of Canadian country music in the States. <laughs> No, I am not that whatsoever. So I'm going to introduce you to a new lovely lady in country music. Her name is Mickey Guyton, and Mickey is an amazing singer. Born and raised in Texas. I'm just going to say Texas. Born in Arlington, but she's lived in Waco, Tyler, Dallas, Fort Worth, every other little community in the middle there, too. (laughs) Uh, But again, amazing stuff. She moved to Nashville in 2011, and since she's moved to Nashville in 2011, she signed a record deal with Capital uh, Capital Nashville Records. She's performed at the White House, and she's got an album in the works. So again, make sure that you check her out while well, you can listen to her right here as well. This is Mickey Guyton, her latest single, Better Than You Left Me, here on Off the Beaten Path Podcast with me, Ben Merritt. said goodbye with words cold as ice I was shaking watching you go I couldn't breathe no I just couldn't see past you leaving me here all alone it's funny what a little time does baby I'm better Now you get a taste of standing on the side where you lose. Ain't it funny what a little time does, baby? I'm better than you left me. I'm better than I should be. Better than I was when you walked out that door. Stronger than. You 
Off the Beaten Path Podcast. He's my husband. You just don't know it yet. <laughs> With me, Ben Merritt. Like us on Facebook.com backslash OTBP Podcast. Drop that towel there on the floor You're looking so good all water and skin You're making me want you all over again So climb on in What do you say? Hey, let's make the morning last all day Come back, come back Come back to bed Beaten Path Podcast with me, Ben Merritt. It's hard to believe that that guy released his first single back in 2005. That was Trent Tomlinson and his latest, Come Back to Bed. I am excited about this. Trent Tomlinson has been on a bit of a roll lately. Uh, if you didn't know, he's written and written and written his way through Nashville. Again, some of his stuff has been in the biggest hands that there is. Uh, he's written for Sarah Evans. Uh, he also wrote one for George Strait. So if you're looking for a pedigree, this man's got it. Uh, but just recently, the song Close Your Eyes that Parmalee released earlier on this year, Trent Tomlinson had his hand in co-writing that one as well. So Trent Tomlinson's on a roll, and we're looking forward to seeing him back with his, uh, well, uh, ladies ripped up jeans, leather jacket, and uh, occasionally shirtlessness if you head on over to his Facebook page. Ladies, but again, that one was Come Back to Bed. That's a great tune from Trent Tomlinson here on Off the Beaten Path Podcast. Thank you for hanging out here on OTBP in, uh, well, OTBP Podcast, but who's been anyway? Uh, so again, coming up in just a little bit, the Road Hammers, Jason McCoy, the lead singer of the Road Hammers, going to stop by, chat with me for a little bit. Uh, it's just the beginning of three weeks of uh, bands on the run. Uh, 
and I'm looking forward to it. It's Blackjack Billy next week and Doc Walker coming up uh, in early December as well. So stick around. We got that coming up. But right now, Will Hogue has written himself a Heartland Anthem, as it's being called. And I have to agree with it. Will Hogue had a big hit on his hand, was strong, even made it onto Letterman. And a lot of big things happened for Will. But... We were waiting for the follow-up, and here it is. This is the follow-up that everyone was waiting for. Again, Strong kind of broke him out into the world and made people realize that Will Hogue is the man to watch. But right now, middle of America, I think this song is going to cement his place as somebody that's important and somebody that you need to be paying attention to in the world of country music. So here he is. This is Will Hogue, and this is Middle of America. It's off the Beaten Path podcast with me, Ben Merritt. Jesse told her mama she's gonna be out late, but she ain't coming home at all. Tyler's getting new ink out of that little place down by the old strip mall. Somebody's gonna get drunk. Somebody's gonna get lucky. Tomorrow there's gonna be talk But it'll be alright It's just another night In the middle of America We're letting our freedom ring Chasing these small town dreams Doing what our parents did Watching them shake their heads Thinking we've all gone crazy lately But we know It's Off the Beaten Path Podcast with me, Ben Merritt. Find us on Twitter at OTBP Podcast. Off the Beaten Path Podcast with me, Ben Merritt. And again, I love this job. I literally designed this job so that I get to chat with as many country music artists as possible. And it, it's working out pretty well for me. Right now, I got Jason McCoy on the line from the Road Hammers. Jason, how are you, man? I'm doing pretty good yourself. I'm doing pretty well. I, uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and throw this out here. I think I got to see you. Oh, when was that? 2007? I think you guys came to northern Wisconsin at one point in time, and I got to see you there. Yeah, yeah, we did. We've been, uh, gosh, we played, well, uh, let's see. Uh, we played probably through there uh, maybe five, six times. We just love it. Uh, the U.S. is great, especially the heartland. I mean, it's kind of 
it's kind of where I live in Ontario. The guys are out west in Alberta here uh, in Canada. But, but you know, we're all the same when it comes to uh, country fans. We're all kind of rural folks doing our thing. There you go. All right, before we get too much further, Jason, i got a couple icebreaker questions for you. Are you ready? Oh, boy. Are, <laughs> are we going to be dating after this? <laughs> well, see, these are the ones that set the tone for the whole interview, so we're going to find oh, out. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Icebreaker question number one, and you may have already answered it. Uh, where are you right now? Oh, I'm in Barrie, Ontario, just near Barrie on our farm. We bought a farm oh, a few years ago, just building it and sitting here relaxing, uh, talking on the phone. All right, then. I'm, uh, I've am i spent plenty of time in Windsor. I'm from the southeastern Michigan, um, mm-hmm. right around Detroit and Ann Arbor, and I've spent plenty of time in, in Windsor, so... Uh, starting at age about 19, I'd have to say. Now you're in Wisconsin. Good upgrade. <laughs> exactly. So Good stuff. Um, now, question number two, and this is the one that really sets the tone. Are you ready? Yep. Because I want to know how comfortable you are. What are you wearing right now? <laughs> you knew well, that I'm it was wearing, going I'm that wearing, way. I'm wearing paint-stained Levi jeans, a Carhartt shirt with paint all over it, and I got my ball cap on backwards. I'm chilling with a cup of coffee. Now, were you painting, or was this yeah. just the... Well, the... actually, I just like to wear these. I, I had a designer make these clothes look like I was working. <laughs> so uh, that's how we roll here in, I... uh, in rock stardom. I don't believe that. I don't believe yeah. that one bit. Nah, we were painting. Yeah, I figured, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, the whole the whole Road Hammers thing, you guys look like rock stars, but I feel like Ooh. you guys act like we're down-home working guys. We're pretty much normal guys, yes, sir. There Absolutely. you go. Now, yep. it, it's kind of cool because, um, you know, I mean, the, the vibe of the band, I mean, it's kind of like Van Zant means Montgomery Gentry. Kind of. It's it's uh, it's like Southern rock, you know, for uh, for the fan who, you know, uh, just like a bit of Hank Jr., a bit of George Jones, a bit of everything. I mean, um, we certainly, you know, we love singing songs about the open road and trucking, but it's kind of songs about life and, and country folks. And, yeah, it's, it's kind of got that mix, though, doesn't it? A bit of Southern rock from the north. Yeah, it's a little strange saying Southern rock when you guys are sitting up there in Ontario. And yeah, Alberta, really. But... Eh? Oh, hey, it's a state of mind. It ain't a state of body. So oh, definitely. Uh, that's yeah, what we do. Definitely. It's uh it, it's great though because it's nice little mix, you know, southern rock, country music, blues. It's all mixed together. And like you said, it is a lot of songs about the open road and we'll talk about the brand new album. As a matter of fact, I think it's named perfectly for the vibe of the band. Uh it's called Wheels. And we'll talk about that one in just a little bit. But I want to talk about this big thing that you're out on the road doing right now. Bands on the road. It's you and actually I've got the the lucky chance to talk to everybody that's on Bands on the Road in the next couple of weeks. Uh, it's you guys, Doc Walker and Blackjack Billy, all hitting the road across Canada, uh, basically for the the whole month of November and December. Is that right? Yep, pretty much. It's actually called Bands on the Run, just like the, uh, oh, the Wings tune. Yep. And uh, but yeah, we're gosh, we're we're doing it. It's uh, starting at Fredericton, which is uh, way out on the east coast, going all the way to Vancouver, way out on the west, and. Uh, and every place in between. It's uh, three bands for the price of one, and you can't get better than that. No, you can't. Uh, but country music fans are all about their big deals, and that's the biggest deal I, I think I've heard of. Yeah, you know what? It's uh, We say bands on the run, fans are number one. So, uh, And that's that's where we're at. It's You know, we wouldn't be doing this if it weren't for uh, Hammer fans. We just wouldn't, we wouldn't have the opportunity. So um, I've been doing this my whole life and really just... Uh, Gosh, just amazed to still get the chance to do it. And uh, it's all because of music fans and, and Hammer fans in particular. So thank you. There you go. Again, I've gotten on the phone with Jason McCoy of the Road Hammers. And um, Jason, I don't, I don't think anybody's really asked this question anymore, but uh, you had a promising solo career before you joined in with the boys. And this was starting as like a side gig, but then it became kind of the main gig. Is that right? Yeah, actually, we, uh, well, I, I'm a solo artist, uh, two time male artist of the year here yeah. at the CCMAs. And, uh, uh, yeah, very, very lucky uh, to have had a solo career. Still, still release solo albums uh, here and there, but uh, for the most part, focused on the Hammers right now. And, um, I mean, it's just, you know, I love what I do. I love the, the solo aspect, but I love the, uh, the, the Hammer side of it. It's, it's just fun to kind of, first of all, it's amazing that I get the chance to switch back and forth, right? Yeah. But it's it's really amazing that that uh, the fans you know allow you to do that kind of thing. They'll get sick of you, and uh, I've I've really been blessed. It's been fun. Now, do you think that you know your Hammer fans expect a little bit of the Hammers when you do just a solo thing, or do your solo fans expect you know? I mean, is is there a crossover? Oh, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I do a bit of both. Uh, I did a uh, Jason McCoy show uh, here in the summer, and 
played a couple of hammer tunes, you know, and uh, uh, it's, you know, any show we do, whether it's a, a solo Jason McCoy show or a road hammer show, I like to, I, I like to just, you know, get, get involved and in, uh, with the crowd and, and it's not just me. I mean, they're the party. We're just the soundtrack. So if they want to hear a hammer tune, cool. If they want to hear a, a McCoy tune, that's cool too. There you go. It's Jason McCoy from the Road Hammers here on Off the Beaten Path Podcast. And, sir, I, I'm just astonished at the, the names that you guys are drawing in for some of those albums that you're working on. Specifically, <laughs> I had the distinct honor, uh, actually, I think I think Jeffrey was at the show that you guys were at as well here in northern Wisconsin. It was Log Jam Fest, if you can remember. Oh, yeah. 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 Jeff Steele. He's, yeah. Uh, he's fantastic. He, you know, he's written everything from... Uh, Oh gosh, I think I'd probably be better off thinking of the songs he hasn't written. <laughs> uh, but you know, a guy who who really has written the handbook of country music, uh, he he guested on a couple of tracks here with us. The song him and I wrote together, "Mud," which just went gold. Actually, um, it's it's pretty great to have him on the album. We had Fred Turner as well, uh, the the big gruff voice guy from uh, Bachman Turner Overdrive. Uh, we redid the uh, Bachman Turner tune, uh, Let It Roll Down the Highway. Oh, yeah. And had Fred in there. He's 77, uh, 71 years old wow. and uh, just singing like an 18 year old rock star, man. He's just something else. Yeah, I was listening to the album earlier before we, we started chatting just to get a refresher of it. But uh, yeah, I, I couldn't have told you that Fred Turner was 71. Is that what you said? That's Yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, off the hook, right? He's. <laughs> he's He's super, uh, well, he's a super talented guy, but he sounds really mean, is the thing, right? <laughs> like, he's got that big, Rrr, you know, let it roll. Oh, yeah. And he's like a mountain man, but the, you get him on the on the phone, he's like, well, I'm a big fan of your band, I, I'd love to do it. And you're just like, are you kidding me? You know, Fred Turner, you're you're into what we do, and that's, uh, that, that's amazing, you know, it really, really feels good. So Fred approached you guys, or did you guys approach Fred? Well, we approached him. Oh, no, we barked up his tree, and, uh, <laughs> and we said we wanted to cut the tune. He didn't know we were going to, and, and he, was, uh, he was pretty into it. Very cool, very cool. Now, uh, going back real quick to that tune, Mud, though, with Jeffrey Steele. Jeffrey has written a bunch of stuff. I think at one point in time he had, like, 23 out of the top 40 at one one specific like week. But uh, he joined you on Mud. Tell us a little bit about that whole experience and a little bit about the tune. Well, I wanted to write a song about mud because, uh, you know, we write anything to do with wheels and gearheads. And uh, for me, I, I got a lot of friends here. I live in uh, just north of Barrie in this, uh, well, kind of a swampy area. And, and there's a lot of mudders, right? So I thought, oh, yeah. I want to write their theme song. And, uh, and so we, we sat down. I sat down with Jeff, and, and I said, I only wanted to be a one-word title. You know, like he wrote <laughs> Speed, and he wrote all these other songs with one, one word. And I was like, that's it. That's what we're doing. One word, mud. <laughs> and uh, and so we just started a little loop, and we both sat there and started going mud, you know. And it uh, it worked perfect. It was awesome. So, and we've got fans now all around the world. From you know, in Alabama, they have a big mud fest down in uh, Texas. They have rednecks with paychecks, and all these guys are using it as their theme song now. And I'm, we're getting all these requests to play everywhere just based on this one song. <laughs> so it's. Uh, we're the voice of the trucker, and we're the voice of the mutter. So we're the voice of the mutter trucker. There you go. Mutter yeah. trucking. Everybody loves a mutter trucking man, Bring right? Put it all together. There you go. There you go. All right, Jason McCoy. Jason, stick around. We're going to listen to the mud right now, and then we'll come back and we'll talk more, okay? Right on. Here it is. This is Mud featuring Mr. Jeffrey Steele. This is the Road Hammers on Off the Beaten Path Podcast with me, Bud Merritt.
Path podcast, meet Ben Merritt. There you go. That is mud. That is uh, Road Hammers and Jeffrey Steele. And I got Jason McCoy on the line from the Hammers. Jason, them, hey, hey. I mean, that thing, that song, replace the paint on your clothes, man, and put some mud on there, I guess. <laughs> Pretty much. Jeez. You know what? I, I'm amazed that, like, uh, like you know, mudding is, is you know, it's fun. It's, we have, well, like it says in the song, good, clean, fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's huge. It's just, a, it's massive. And uh, so we've, we're kind of like the, uh, the the soundtrack for the mutter now, and it's it's just keeping us real busy. Yeah. It's, uh, which is good. I mean, hey, there are people. That's what we do. I think uh, I think huge and massive kind of plays into the fact that you got huge and massive tires on those big old trucks, too. So. Huge and massive. Yes. Absolutely. Is that like big and rich? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> big and rich after too many donuts. Yeah, huge and, huge and massive. Huge and massive. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Speaking of uh, a couple of guest spots that have been on the album, uh, a former guest here on the show, Colt Ford, appears on Hillbilly Highway on the new album as well. Yeah, you know what? That's pretty cool. For us, uh, you know, we've always kind of modeled ourselves uh, in the uh, kind of the, the modern outlaw side of things. And what I mean by that is, you know, not really not really playing by the traditional rules, and uh, Colt doesn't either. And we kind of share a kindred spirit and musical styles, too, right? And uh, so we, I, we, we've known a lot of the guys in his camp, and we just like kind of how he does things. It's just kind of a rogue way of doing it. If, if he wants to play a certain place, he just does it. And it's, it's not about politics and all that kind of jazz. So um, for us, we, we, it was a natural fit. You know, we just wanted Cole in there. I share a birthday with him, actually. Oh, that's great. We're both, both, yeah, we're both August 27th, and uh, so... So he had to do it. We're like we're like related. <laughs> he's he's your he's your southern brother from another he's mother. Southern brother from another mother. There you go. But uh, yeah, and we got him on Hillbilly Highway. We you know love Steve Earl of course, and we we did. I have a road hammer in each show, which was our first big hit, and uh, our theme song. You know, but what a road hammer is. And then uh, and then at the end of the song, we just extend the jam. Clay started rapping on Hillbilly Highway, and, and there you have it. That's, that's how we came up with that version. There you go. And it, it, I think it fits perfectly. A nice little breakdown in the song. Gets a little hip-hop in there and a little Colt Ford. And, I mean, honestly, Colt just pops up everywhere. I'm waiting for him to do, like, a Charmin commercial or something like that. <laughs> He might. He might. <laughs> Don't put it past him. There you but, go. Uh, yeah, he's, he's a smart dude. There you go. Colt Ford, again. Uh, but the main point is the Road Hammers pretty much can attract anybody. So, uh, and, and point proven in that is you guys went on a bit of a, an official, unofficial hiatus, you know, over a few years ago. And uh, it, it's kind of, it's got to be a great feeling because as soon as you guys come back, release the new album Wheels and get some new music out there, Without even missing a beat, you guys are nominated for the CCMA's Group Duo of the Year again. That's got to be awesome. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty humbling, really, because we didn't, you know, we didn't take an official. It, it was more record label politics that kind of held us up for a while. We, oh, okay. We were uh, held back by lawyers and such. So, um, but that's you know it is what it is. And um, but we're as soon as we came back, we had the opportunity to do another record, and we we felt really strong about the music because. Because that was the first thing for us is if we don't feel it, then don't do it, right? Right. But uh, definitely nervous. You know, are the fans going to be there, and and what's going to happen? But uh, boom, the the album uh, shot up to number one. The uh, single mud went just went gold, and and uh, we're just really fortunate to not just be back, but but uh, back with with uh, you know swinging a big club, and it it feels really good. So 
we feel like we've been given a, a second chance in a business where very few get a, a first chance. There you go. Yeah, that. I mean, honestly, that's the most amazing part. It's the the loyalty of country music fans astonishes me year after year after year because some people take you know an indefinite amount of time off and they'll come back and that fan base is still there and they're not just there but they're like hungry. I mean, crazy cool. Point yeah. point proven with Big and Rich. They took a couple of years off from doing Big and Rich stuff. They released stuff solo and. Uh, all of a sudden, Big and Rich comes back as the duo, and the album's doing great. So, yeah, yeah. good good to see that the Road Hammers are are taking part of that as well. I'm glad. We're lucky, but uh, we we got a good crew. We got a great uh, great management team. We got you know we we just we just have a really good team that uh, stuck with us through all this all all this political stuff that just has no place in music business. No. And, uh, and uh, here we're back. Yeah, let the let the good music get out to the fans so the fans can appreciate it. Yep, absolutely. All right. Well, uh, Jason, this might be a little hard for you to do because I feel like you're a pretty humble guy, but this is the Pip Yourself portion of the show. Time to talk about yourself. Oh, well, I have no problem <laughs> doing that, man. <laughs> it, it it's basically, it's not just me, right? It's it's the best band in the world, and uh, that's just how it is. It's a fact. We're not bragging. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we got a great group, and, uh, you know, the theroadhammers.com is where we want people to visit us. Of course, Twitter, Facebook, um, we're the highest selling, the highest selling country group in the history of Canadian country, uh, which is a point of pride for us. Oh yeah, and uh, that just speaks to our fans more than anything, you know. But um, but we're we're very proud of that for sure. Very cool. Well, it's time to talk about the new album. Like we said earlier, it did debut at number one when it was released. It's called Wheels. Tell us about how the album kind of brought itself together, and then you're going to have to tell me about the Fender Benders track at the end because I thought that was the greatest track on the album. <laughs> Well, I do a lot of the recording on it. First of all, I'll start with the Fender Benders. I do a lot of the recording and uh, engineering on the records, and uh, so for me, uh, I get to hear all the funny stuff and all the unpolished and uh, just all the crazy tracks. And I, I was watching, actually, Liar Liar with Jim Carrey at the time we were doing the first record, and uh, one of my favorite parts, along with probably half the world, was you know all the goofy you know the bloopers right. at the end. And so I was like, why don't we keep all the funny stuff before I delete all those you know, blown tracks and stuff. Why don't I keep those and and we'll use those as a blooper reel? And nobody had ever really done that before. And and uh, and I, you know, my wife liked the idea. My kids liked it. And I said, well, that's that's it. That's the decision. So there you go. Um, yeah, we really enjoy. It. We have a good time, and that that kind of shows you the behind the scenes fun that we have. <laughs> now we're, the, a bunch, we're just a bunch of idiots with guitars, you know. Now the wife and kids like it, but did the other guys in the band appreciate it or they're like, man, come on, oh, don't, yeah. don't let oh, everybody yeah. know that we suck every once in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't let them know they're goofballs. <laughs> I, I think it's pretty obvious. It's hard to uh it's hard to keep that hidden. There you go. All right. So off that album, the new single, the third single off the album, I think it had to create most of the stuff on the Fender Benders album or Fender Benders track. Uh, I've been everywhere. It's one of the fastest paced songs, basically, in all of music. I mean, Speed rap. yeah, that thing is ridiculous. You want to talk about, you know, rapping back in the old schools? This song's been around for a long time, and this is a great new reimagining of it. I have to think. Yeah, you know what? It's uh, it was a song that was kind of staring us in the face the whole time. We, you know, Dwight Yoakam did a lot of remakes and uh, had a lot of unique ways of putting a spin on an old song, and that's, uh, you know, we've had. Great, our greatest success has been with uh, our own originals, but we've also had huge success with uh, with covers, everything from Girl on the Billboard to Eastbound and Down. And so we're always looking for those unique songs that we can we can redo. And uh, this one was kind of staring us in the face. I'm surprised we didn't do it in the first couple of records. But Hank Snow, one of the original, you know, kind of uh, rebels of country music. A lot of people kind of think that's funny, but um, the way he did business and the way he kind of stood up for himself and, and, and did things. He was also one of the first uh, Opry members from Canada here, so it was a real big uh, point of pride for me as a, a young guy from Canada, knowing that. He also managed uh, Elvis Presley for a time. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't know that. So uh, Hank Snow, it, it, we had to get a, get a little Hank on the record. There you go. And it it's doing really well. It's the third single off the new album, Wheels. And Again, the music video, it, you got to have a little bit of time. It's about five and a half minutes long, but it's great. Speaking you should watch the whole guitars. thing. Yeah, speaking of idiots with guitars, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, that's just what we do. But it was, it, it was fun. Like we said in this video, if we don't have fun and just be ourselves, like there's no point in doing it. So, right. you know, don't listen to record label types and just, just have fun. Yeah, that, that first guy that picked you up, by the way, made me uncomfortable, and I was just watching the video. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. Well, he had to have a little encouragement to do that, but uh, he was all right. There you go. All right. Well, Jason, thank you very much for joining me. And again, I appreciate everything you guys are doing. I'm glad that you're back, and I'm back with a vengeance. Oh, I gotta tell you, it's uh, it's just been a hoot for us, Ben. I appreciate you taking the time and. And uh, I just can't wait to get back down to Wisconsin, and, and we just, you know, keep the hammer down. There you go. Jason McCoy from the Road Hammers. Here it is. It's the new single off the album Wheels. It's I've Been Everywhere. It's off the Beaten Path podcast. Meet Ben Merritt. Well, I was toting my pack down the dusty when a muckle road. When along came a semi with the high canvas covered load. Said if you're going to win a muckle mac with me, you can ride. So I climbed into the cab and I settled down inside. He said, You ever seen a road with so much dust and sand? I said, Well, listen, bud, I've traveled every road in this here land. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. Across the desert, fair, man. I breathe the mountain air, man. Travel, I've done my share, man. Chicago, Fargo, Minnesota, Buffalo, Toronto, Winter, Sarasota, Wichita, Tulsa, Ottawa, Oklahoma, Tampa, Panama, Meadow, Lamp, Paloma, Bangor, Baltimore, Salvador, Amarillo, Tocopilla, Barron, Kill, Amperdale, I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. Across the desert, fair, man. I'm free, the map, and air, man. Travel, I've done my share, man. Off the Beaten Path Podcast with me, Ben Merritt. Like us on Facebook.com backslash OTBT Podcast. I 
I can't get you off the tip of my tongue You're running through my head again Like one of those summer sing-along songs I play you once and you're stuck in there I'm either talking about you or thinking about you or running my mouth about being without you and all my friends Shut me up by showing up with strawberry stuff on your lips You know I like so much Just a little kiss would do the trick Give me something else to do with my lips Cause I go on and on when you're gone Couple drinks in me. I gotta admit the way you got me whipped, you know it's kinda embarrassing. I'm tired of the drama, so hey little mama, I'm hoping you want us to tell me you're gonna be on your way. You shut me up by showing up with strawberry stuff on your lips. You know I like so much. Just a little kiss would do the trick. Give me something else to do with my lips Cause I go on and on When you're gone You're the only one who can shut me up I'm either talking about you Or thinking about you Or running my mouth about being with Come on and shut me up By showing up with strawberry stuff on your lips You know I like so much Just a little kiss would do the trick Give me something else to do with my lips Yeah, baby, shut me up With your love Just one little taste, baby Watch what it does Just a little kiss would do the trick Give me something else to do with my lips Cause I go on and on When you're gone Off the Beaten Path podcast with me, Ben Merritt, Old Dominion, the band of four Virginians and a Michigander. That always makes me happy. <laughs> that was Shut Me Up. Yeah, that's why I'm not part of the band. Uh, no, these guys have been around for a long, long time. You just didn't realize that they've had some stuff written and uh, performed by, uh, let's see, Craig Morgan. They've also had songs out there from Luke Bryan, the band Perry. Uh, actually, I believe they did Chainsaw. I think completely different song, by the way, when they sing it. Wow. Is it completely different? And it's just as good, if not better. Anyway, (laughs) I don't want to start a fight. I promise. Uh, But again, they've been around for a little while writing songs, about 10 years now, actually writing songs. But finally, they got together and uh, made the band. And it was kind of funny because Trevor, the Michigander that's part of the band, is actually quoted saying Matt and I had formed a band with Wit and Jeff, and I found myself jumping on stage with them quite a bit. Uh, At one point, I just said to Matt, I know all your songs, and I write half of them with you anyway. I should just be part of the band. And I said that half-jokingly, and I was not entirely sure he ever gave his official blessing, but I started showing up and just never stopped. End quote. (laughs) That's the best way to join a band. Just show up, play your stuff. Prove yourself as worthy, and there you go. So, uh, this woman has proved herself worthy in many, many, many ways. And uh, a few unfortunate things have uh, kind of made her an independent artist as of late. But that's great. That's fine. I love independent country artists, and that is why I am here. Her name is Leah Turner. Yes, that Leah Turner. You have heard her on the radio before. Would take your key, or excuse me, take the keys and pull me back. And you know what? She's no longer with her record label that helped her release those ones, and I think this song was on her official EP, so it had nothing to do with that or how she feels about it, but I think this song kind of sums it up. Here's my finger. It's off the Beaten Path podcast with me, Ben Merritt. Here's Leah Turner. (laughs) 
Mama gave me your woman Said you have a wondering eye It hit me this morning No way, just marry, yeah Long black limousine Me and my girls gonna hit the scene Pop the champagne and a toast to me Single lady You won't see me dressing white Won't be no wedding night Gonna trade my blue and borrow For someone new Forget the honeymoon I'll never say I do If it's a do us part I'll have a funeral for you It's off the beaten path pod, pod, podcast, podcast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. with me, Ben Mary. I guess I learned it from my granddad. I like the shirts with the little pearl snaps. I die in boots if it was up to me. They'd bury me in blue jeans. Couldn't be a cowboy, I'm a hundred years late I'm a six-string poet and a radio slave I never asked for too many things Just bury me in blue jeans And I know, I know there's so far to go Got the roots of a oak and a tumbleweed soul When my time's up, all this good old boy needs Is to bury me in blue jeans I'm a brother, I'm a son, I'm a dad I'm a thankful one for everything I have I'm not gonna regret the past When they bury me in blue jeans And I know, I know there's so far to go Got the roots of an oak and a tumbleweed so When my time's up, all this good old boy needs Is to bury me
something faded and worn in the knees Fits like a glove and frayed at the seams And throw this song guitar in there, please When you're bearing me in blue jeans Path Podcast, meet Ben Merritt, and the man that is trying to, uh, well, as they say, reinvent the face of traditional country music, but I think he's just trying to revitalize it. That is Granger Smith and Bury Me in Blue Jeans. It's almost like an autobiographical song, by the way. So, uh, Granger Smith, again, he's been out for a long, long time. Re- released his first album in 1998 under his own record label. Yeah, the man uh, basically has been running his own show for a long, long time. Uh, Let's see, an album came out in 98, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2009, 2011, all under the label of Granger Smith. And then his most recent album, Dirt Road Driveway, released in April of 2013, was the one that did it. Released to, uh, made it all the way to the number 15 spot on the U.S. country charts, and uh, actually made it to number 48 on the uh, U.S. top 200. I mean, that's that's huge. That's that's big. That's bigger than big. That's that's Granger Smith big. That's yee yee. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little excited there. If you know anything about Granger Smith at all, Earl Dibbles Jr. is his best friend, and uh, Earl's would Earl would say yee yee to that. <laughs> ben Merritt hanging out with you here on Off the Beaten Path podcast. Thank you to Jason McCoy from the Road Hammers for stopping by. You got to hear that great reimagining of I've Been Everywhere and also the illustrious Jeffrey Steele that jumped on the tune Mud, 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 Mud. Anyway, uh, next week we've got Blackjack Billy and the week after that, Doc Walker as we uh, kind of do our three weeks of bands on the run as they're running through Canada. It's going to be a lot of fun. Check it out. Hang with me pretty much all this month, and we'll have some good stuff for you, too. Because after Doc Walker, uh, we're almost into the Christmas season already. So i got a couple of cool shows to bookend my Christmas episode as well. So be prepared. You never know what's coming up unless you listen and then I tell you. So Blackjack Billy up next week. Have yourself a great one. And uh, for all of you listening in the, in the United States, happy Thanksgiving, too. It's off the Beaten Path podcast. Meet Ben Merritt.